Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering estimating decimal differences, so decimal subtraction, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. When we estimate, we find an approximate value to the exact answer. So for each of these problems, we're going to round each decimal to the nearest whole number and then subtract in order to find our estimate. Then we'll compare to the exact answer. Let's jump into number one, where we have five and seven tenths minus one and three tenths. And again, the first thing we need to do here is round each of these decimals to the nearest whole number, so the ones place. Let's take a look at five and seven tenths first. So we will underline the digit in the ones place, look next door, and that's going to determine how we round this. So five and seven tenths rounds to six. So we are basically just saying there that five and seven tenths is closer to six than it is five. That seven told us to round up. So minus, underline the digit in the ones place, look next door, and that three says stay the same. So one and three tenths is closer to one than it is two. So we can do six minus one for our estimate, and that is five. So we can come back up here write out a squiggly equal sign, five. So this symbol here, that just means approximate um, or close to or about. We can use that symbol when um, estimating because five is not the exact answer. So we don't wanna use an equal sign. Again, that symbol there means approximately. Now the exact answer is four and four tenths. So you can see that we have an approximate value there to the exact answer. On to number two, where we have seven and two tenths minus three and 41 hundredths. So again, let's round to the nearest whole number for both of these. Seven and two tenths rounds to seven minus three and 41 hundredths rounds to three. So we can do seven minus three is four, and that is going to be our estimate. The exact answer is three and 79 hundredths. So you can see, again, we have an approximate value there due to our estimation. On to number three, 17 and 99 hundredths minus four and 85 hundredths. So we'll take a look at the nearest whole number. 17 and 99 hundredths rounds to 18. It's actually very close to 18 minus four and 85 hundredths rounds to five. So 18 minus five gives us an estimate of 13. The exact answer to number three is going to be 13 and 14 hundredths. So again, you can see how close our estimate is there to the exact answer. Lastly, number four, we have 10 and 49 thousandths minus two and 76 hundredths. So nearest whole number, 10 and 49 thousandths uh, rounds to 10, minus two and 76 hundredths rounds to three. So 10 minus three gives us an estimate of seven. The exact answer to number four is seven and 289 thousandths. So you can see again how close we are there with our estimate. So there you have it. There's how you estimate decimal differences. We rounded every decimal to the nearest whole number and then subtracted. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.